hey guys welcome back to the channel so guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut and sew this beautiful flat band if there's something you're interested in do be sure to keep watching and let's get this video started so yeah, to make this we're making use of a 90 degree flat so i'm going to be showing you guys with my white pattern paper so all you need to do is to fold one end of your pattern paper onto the other end of your pattern paper and you should have something that looks like this which is what i already have on my brown pattern paper like so and when it's and place it here, it just fits perfectly, right? Good. So that's it, how you make a 90 degree flare. So the next I'm going to do is to insert my waist measurement. My waist measurement is 26. So 26 divided by 2 gives 13 inches. So I'll be cutting the front pattern, but this front pattern is folded in two. Our crotch normally is two and a half, but since it's folded in two, meaning we'll be having five. So 13 plus 5 gives 18 inches. So now to make a 90 degree flare, You'll be dividing your 18 inches by 1.57 and when that is done you should be having 11 and a half inches so i'm just going to go ahead now to place my tape at the top of my pattern paper like so and just mark out 11 and a half inches at different points just so that when they are connected it's easier to just go and connect it together and when we measure it now we should be having nine inches because it's unfolded when it's open it should give us the 18 that we actually had in the beginning so the next now we to go ahead and mark out the length of the shot so this um, shot is going to have a band measuring one and a half inches and the length of the shot is going to be measuring 17 but since we are having half inch of allowance to join the shot to the band i'll be placing the tape to be one inch at that our waistline so the half inch inwards slash as our sewing allowance and I'm then going to go ahead now to mark out the length of the short 17 at different points and basically connect it together like so. And the next thing I'll be to go ahead now and mark our crotch. I'm going to be coming down by 9 inches because my hip measurement is 36. 36 divided by 4 gives 9. So marking 9 right there. And I'm coming in by 2 and a half inch, which is the um measurement for the crotch. And when we measure the remaining part, we should be having 6 and a half is our actual waist measurement because this and a half time is to give my actual 13. I'm going to go ahead now and make use of my cuff to connect the crotch together like so. The next thing I'll be to go ahead and create are my pocket in so I'll make marking two inches in like so and for the depth I'll be making use of seven inches. And I'm just going to go ahead now to make use of my rule to just connect it together like so and that's basically it for the front pattern. I'm just going to go ahead now and cut this out. Okay, so after I'm not cutting this, what we have, so that waist part I'll be coming down by one inch and just connecting it to my actual waist line right there and just cutting it off. So that is for the front pattern. The next now we to cut the back. So for the back, I went ahead and I placed my front pattern onto another fresh pattern paper. I've placed it like so. So for the back pattern, the back pattern is going to be higher than the front pattern by one and a half inch like we do for our normal trousers. I'm just going to go ahead and extend that line like so, so that I connect my um, new waistline to that um, point. So just meet, so that the front and the back meet at the same line. So I'm measuring my front pattern as, and I'm having seven. So I have to ensure that I'm having also seven at the back and just marking it right there, basically. The next thing I'm going to be that I'm going to extend my crotch line by two and a half inch and just rule a straight line. I'll also be doing the same thing to the bottom part, extending it by two and a half inches also and ruling a straight line. So that's two and a half inches that we extended at the top. I'll be coming down by a half inch and then I'm just going to go ahead and to create the back crotch by connecting from that seven inch to that half inch we took down with the use of my curve. And I'm going to go ahead now to connect that part to the straight line. And I'm just going to go ahead now to cut these out. And that's really for our back pattern. So what I did was that I went ahead and I placed it onto our fabric like so. And I added half inch of hemming allowance. That's all I added to the front back. But for the front, I added also one inch. But you can see that I haven't cut through the pocketing um, portion here. So now for the pocketing, this is the fabric we're going to make use of one red and one yellow because we have 
the shot in mixed print so i'm just going to go ahead now and grab one of the red and grab one of the yellow and just place them right sides facing each other so for our pocketing we have measuring 10 by 7 inches your actual pocketage will be measuring 14 by 7 inches you forget what that means right so i'm going to go ahead now to place the pattern onto the fabric we'll make use of for the pocketings and just cut through all of the pieces together so now when i place it onto the pattern like so i kind of want to have this kind of curved effect so i'll just make use of my scissors to just kind of curve it out like so and then i'm going to grab um the main part of the pocketing that will show through the pocketing hole and just cut out the same shape like so yeah and that's basically it for the pocketings so the next thing i will work on the band so for the band i have my fabric right here which is when folded in two measures two inches so when it's sewn by half inch it becomes one and a half inches and for the length it's just long as possible to fit half of my waist because it's divided into two i hope you get what that means and also the same thing for the red measuring two inches also the next thing i'm going to now be to go ahead now and place the bands right sides facing each other like so and then just sew by half of an inch i'm also going to go ahead and work on the front pattern i'm just going to go ahead now and join the crotch by half of an inch and we should have it open like so after which i'm going to go ahead to attach the pocketings place them like so right sides facing each other the part that has that slanty cut out and sew by half of an inch so it just goes in like so and yeah you can also go ahead to just kind of top stitch if you wish i also be doing the same thing for the red portion placing it right facing each other stitching and just turning it in and also top stitching so after i was done this is what we have i've already done everything for the red portion i've also added the other and pocketing part so i went ahead and i gave the yellow part a top stitch the next now we to go ahead now and cover it up with the other part of the pocketing so just place them right sides facing each other like so and then just go ahead and sew round like I did for the red. If you have a weaving machine, you can just search around it. And we should be having something that looks like this. After you're done, you're just going to kind of hold the pocketing down by the side and also by the top to just hold it down to the actual shot. So let's assume that we've done that already. I'm just going to go ahead and just place the back portion onto the front portion of the dress, red part facing the red part, and the yellow part facing the yellow part. And just go ahead and just stitch by half of an inch so we have it separated at the back crotch after i was done this is what we have i've joined the yellow to the yellow and the red to the red and this is what it looks like the next now we to go ahead now and attach the band to the shirt so i've already gone ahead to join the band together put it into and stitch so the next now we to attach the band to the shirt so when attaching it to ensure that the red portion stays at the red portion and the yellow stays at the yellow the red shouldn't intercept into the yellow portion and, and vice versa just going to go ahead now and just stitch by half of an inch all around the shorts like so and after i was attaching the band this is what we have you can see it just stays in one line right does not intercept into the other the next now we to go ahead now and work on the back so i'll be placing the back crotch like so right sides facing each other and we should be having something like this the next now we to mark out my waist measurement 26 divided by 2 is 13 i'll be marking 13 inches right there but this shirt is going to have a zipper so I'm just going to go ahead now to measure seven and a half inches. That's where my zipper is going to stop. I'm just going to go ahead now to make use of my chalk to just kind of mark out the part through which I'll be inserting the zipper and the part that I'll be sewing. So now that I've marked it, I'm just going to go ahead now and stitch from that seven and a half marked point down to the end of the crotch. So I will leave the top portion open to insert the zip. So I'm just going to go ahead now and just pin that down because I don't have the zipper at the moment I was creating this video. And after I'm done inserting the zipper, I'm going to go ahead now to just join both legs like so. Just sew the middle part of the pants like so by half of an inch. And after you're done sewing, the next thing will be to just kind of go ahead and hem the pants. You hem the yellow separately and the red separately by folding it twice and just sewing all around the same thing with the red. And after I was done, this is what it was looking like, looking so pretty, looking so beautiful. I'm literally obsessed with this set. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do not forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos you can do also try this out and send me pictures to my instagram so you're getting the halter neck top that has a drawstring i also have a video up on the channel on how you can create the top 
I'll be leaving the link in the description box below. If you want to comment if you find this video helpful and can also share the video so you get across to as many people as possible. Thank you guys for watching once again. Bye bye and see you in my next video.